Introduction to the New Book by Beam God Delusion and God Delusion Insanity by Marianne Olinger, Switzerland, August 21, 2009 As with every book written by Billy Edward Albert Meyer, God Delusion and God Delusion Insanity is absolutely unlike any other. In a little more than three months, he has, once again, written a unique masterpiece for which there is no equal. The book God Delusion and God Delusion Insanity is a totally hot book in which Billy Edward Albert Meyer Beam delivers a great deal of explosive material. However, at the same time, in contrast to other authors who do not know the truth and therefore cannot say anything about it, Billy brings the fire extinguisher in that he explains the truth about the creation universal consciousness and how the human being, if he or she wills it, can come away from his or her God delusion and come to the truth. Of the seven and a half billion human beings, which, at this point in time, constitute the Earth's population, four-fifths profess a belief in one of the six world religions or in one of the sects which have emerged from them. They believe in a God whose name may not be named. They believe in a Creator God, in Jesus Christ and diverse saints. In Allah, in Shiva and Brahma, or whatever they are all called, in nature gods, in tin gods, and so forth. They are mostly also firmly convinced that they thereby believe in the legitimate Creator of our universe and the one who determines their fate. They pray and beg for favor, health objects or material wealth, hang rosaries over the rear view mirror in the car, and crosses around their necks, to achieve immunity from accidents and everything bad. They sacrifice food, plants, money, animals and, in earlier times or even still today, human beings, above all children and virgins, in order to make their god, their goddess or their tin god's kind and merciful, and to win them over. They give their long dark hair to the temple, which earns millions therewith, in exchange for a good harvest. They throw small children from a high tower into the depths, where, after a nose dive and much dread, they are caught with a blanket, India, which is supposed to bring the family luck and health, and much more. All are acts of total dimwittedness and brainlessness. No believer ever asks him on herself in which manner his or her god his or her goddess or his or her tin god is actually supposed to meet the demands. How does the creator god manage to simultaneously maintain the gigantic universe, and everything contained therein, while concerning himself with their small harvests, their pleading and begging and their individual well-being? That is totally impossible, above all when one considers that a creator would indeed be responsible for all human beings in the universe. Whoever reads this, and is a believer, will naturally, immediately have an explanation at hand, even if it is very daft, ridiculous and irrational. Their God makes everything possible. He can easily violate all the physical laws without negative effects. Whoever is not really a believer, rather is simply one who goes along with it, has by now at the latest, after consideration, noticed that something cannot be correct. And here is exactly where God delusion and God delusion insanity comes in. Billy Edward Albert Meyer shows, in truth and logic and with clear, precise, pointed, but also incisive words, without wanting to offend the believing earth humans, why there is no God and no creator God, as well as why there are. God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 1 21st. God swan and God swan crankite. No gods and no tin gods. He shows, instead, that it is thereby to do with the delusion which has been inherited, caused by indoctrination, has been instilled, or has been voluntarily created, and therefore is to do with a form of schizophrenia. The whole thing is pure imagination. It is a delusion. God has been genetically inherited, over millions of years, in the form of a schizophrenic, epileptic delusion, 
and is established in the brain's temporal and parietal lobes. Since children are pestered with belief and led into confusion ever earlier, if not by parents, grandparents or other guardians, than by believing teachers, so-called creationists, there is always more suffering and grief in this world. The supposed radiance in the eyes of the believers and their blissfully ecstatic facial expressions reflect their willow-the-wisp god delusion and are not, for example, expressions of inner harmony, love, peace, freedom and joy. For those who have knowledge of the truth, the difference is obvious. In contrast to other authors, for example, the evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins, in The God Delusion, or Sam Harrising, The End of Faith, who do not themselves appear to know any truth about the activity of creation. Dawkins even explicitly denies it, or in fact regard everything as chance and without purpose and effect. One, Billy's tool is his enormous knowledge, and his wisdom which has never before been achieved by any human being. This wisdom relates to the creation universal consciousness and everything contained therein. Billy does not just point out and warn, rather he explains and instructs, and he provides answers. These are answers to the earth humans millennia old questions and also the questions which are just as relevant today, which could, for example, sound like this. If God is only a figment of the imagination or a delusion, then who is watching us? What is creation then? If nothing is chance and chaos, then how is it really? Etc. Billy's statements are hard, well formulated and precise. They will not fail to have their desired effect. But, if you now think that you will get to read that all the emblems of the religions will have to be removed and religions forbidden, then you are enormously in error. It is quite the opposite. For Billy, the human being's freedom is inviolable. He writes about that right at the beginning of the book. Truly, it is not right to forbid opinion holders and religious believers, respectively, believers in God, places in which they, individually or in groups, can withdraw or get together for the purpose of exchanging opinions or for religious reflection, because that does not correspond to freedom of opinion, and freedom of belief. Ein Anders Sinnen, Trachten und Schön, das Gegen Solchstatten und. One here the German word, Ziel, which should not be translated as goal, aim, or target, etc., means more or less Nutzen or Wirkung, which can best be translated as effect, Al thought it is not really the right word. God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 2 21st. Got swan und got swan crankite. A different way of thinking, striving and acting which is directed against such places and their emblems, represents blatant sectarian and fanatical racism against religion and faith, as well as hatred of those who believe differently and that is absolutely unacceptable in every form. That, self-evidently, also applies to human beings who do not believe in a god, in gods or tin gods, rather who instead orientate their thoughts, their feelings and their actions towards the creational laws and recommendations. They are referred to as the ones who have knowledge of the truth. Truth and knowledge are, however, always relative since both factors are likewise integrated into the laws of causality and evolution. About that, Billy writes, And the freedom of belief also belongs freedom of knowledge. Consequently the right must be conceded to all those human beings who distance themselves from any opinion and from any belief, and only led their lives according to knowledge about the effectively real truth, as those who have knowledge and regard to reality and its truth and as followers of the creational natural laws and recommendations. If you read the book attentively and carefully, and again and again, you will, along with the demonstration of the madness of religions and their stories, and the explanations about the creation universal consciousness and its laws and recommendations, uncover much worth knowing, which, up until now, 
was possibly not known to you, as, for example, that which is conscious of the consciousness, what an unconsciousness of the consciousness implies whereby the subconsciousness is not meant. The significance of chance and free ordination. The significance of conviction and certainty. Truth and the evolution of truth. The life-giving factor of every life form. Reality and truth. Free will. The boomerang factor the interdependency. The significance of the origin. God underscore delusion dot v1.2.doc15 slash 10 slash 11 and 321. Gots one and Gots one crankite. The absolute nothingness. More about that in the fig bulletin number 63. March 2008, in German only. The need for constant motion. Dogmatism. The open declaration of the denial of God, applying the same principle as for those who stand up for the rights, equality and equal value of women, lesbians and homosexuals, and much more. The book God Delusion and God Delusion Insanity speaks for itself. Even one who does not consider him or herself to be a believer, whoever wrongly evaluates him or herself is also in a certain sense, a believer, should read it, because, it would not be from Billy if it were not at the same time a highly valuable source of truth of knowledge with which we can advance the evolution of our consciousness. Nobody on the earth, no scientist, really nobody, is so well versed in regard to the creation universal consciousness and the human consciousness, and also in regard to the religions, all of which he has studied, however he did not allow himself to be lulled in by any. As Billy Edward Albert Meyer Beam. So the book is already, for that reason, a truly delicious morsel for everybody's consciousness, according to our level of openness or unprejudicedness. For those who can only free themselves with difficulty from their inherited delusion, the delicious morsel may, however, really require a longer time to digest. I frankly admit that I am amused by sentences such as, but when many human beings suffer from the same delusion, just as it is with the God delusion, then the delusional insanity is called religion, and is made socially acceptable. They are not only true, rather absolutely delicious, and there are many of those. In any case, when reading, that which Billy emphasizes again and again, and everywhere, is true. Prejudices are, at all times, insurmountable obstacles and barriers on the path to truth. Always examine everything very precisely and then trust only that which is good. God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 421st. Got swan and got swan crankite. So that you are well prepared as you venture to embark upon the shaking, stirring and clarifying work of the century God delusion and God delusion insanity, and understand it even better and can, at any rate, thereby accept it more easily, I would like to give you a couple of helpful facts, which can be broken down as follows. 1. What is God and what is the creation universal consciousness? 2. Who is Billy Edward Albert Meyer? Is he the announced prophet of the new time, the Messiah, respectively, the Mahdi, as seen from the religious perspective? 3. The purpose and effect of nature and of the human consciousness. 4. Help in recognizing the truth. The greatest errors of the believers and the most perfidious machinations of the distorters of the writings, in contrast to the teaching of truth, the teaching of life, the teaching of spirit, belief and knowledge, color radiations of the consciousness, rationality and elect consciousness block. 1. What is God and what is the creation universal consciousness? So that you know, right at the beginning, and a few words, what God is and what the creation universal consciousness is, I will quote a couple of sentences from Billy's God Delusion and God Delusion Insanity. 
Everything is thoroughly explained and described in the book. What is God? Excerpt from Chapter 4 Fundamentally, God is an invention of the human being, respectively, of the human brain, whereby, in the human being, over millions of years, the imaginary divinity has been inherited in a form of schizophrenic, epileptic delusion and has established itself in the temporal lobes as well as in the parietal lobes. Religious experiences which arise thereby constitute forms of schizophrenic delusion and are the result of a genetically inherited religious belief. What is the Creation Universal Consciousness? Extract from Chapter 1 Die Schopfung ist ein Anjahr, Neutral, Energetisch und Evaluative God underscore Delusion dot V1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 5 21st. Gottswan und Gottswan Krankheit. Creation is an immense, neutral, energetical and evaluative Wiesenheit asterisk being that is not a Wiesen as such, but a Wiesenheit as a pure natural state of energy a natural evaluative spirit energetical activity energy. The Wiesenheit creation is a pure spirit energetical being state, a radiating energy of spirit light, and therefore not a Wiesen in the sense of a human being, other creature or other personified Wiesen, therefore also not a divinity in superhuman form. Asterisk there are no English terms that convey the meaning of the German terms Wiesen and Wiesenheit. The explanation can be found in dick.fig.org. The creation universal consciousness is a natural production of its own evolution just like the human being and all other living creatures as well as the entire universe, and everything existing in it corresponds to the causal forms of evolution given by the creational natural laws. And its natural evolutive energy. It is formed so much higher over all the material and thereby exists so immeasurably high over human beings in a pure spirit energy level that it would be impossible for it to set itself in communicative contact in any way with a human being. Already in Chapter 1, Billy thoroughly explains to the Earth human of the present time, as the first human ever to do so, what creation is and how its laws and recommendations work. Thereby one must take great care that the principle of cause-effect evolution, in other words, of causality, and how it works, is correctly understood. Most scientists only know about the evolution of nature, and they do not even always know that correctly, but they are basically on the right path, contrary to the creationists who totally go astray. It obviously does not appear to be clear to them that everything spiritual and material, Therefore all things of all existence and that which is spiritual, physical and conscious, is integrated into evolution. Actually, the following forms of evolution exist. Creation evolution spirit energetical evolution of God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 6 21st. God swan and God swan crankite. Creation conscious evolution of the consciousness human life form only the human being evolves by means of the conscious evolution of the consciousness instinct evolution life forms of animals and other creatures impulse evolution adaptation evolution, respectively, assimilation evolution plant life forms energy evolution transformation evolution, respectively, conversion evolutions and, stones, crystals, gases, liquids etc. Microevolution Compatibility Evolution and Mutation Evolution Bacterium, Bacillus, Virus Intelligence Evolution Not to be equated with the human being's consciousness evolution Higher species of animals, such as apes, dolphins, horses, ravens, pigs, goats, parrots, buffalo and other kinds of cattle, bears, camels, donkeys, beasts of prey, elephants, dogs, cats, sheep, and so forth. The creation universal consciousness is not simply an accumulation of chance and chaos. It is in its laws and recommendations, in the external storage banks and in our conscious memory, just as it is in the subconscious memory and in the countless forms of consciousness, unconsciousness and subconsciousness, 
etc. everywhere, everything is well ordered. Law and regulation and principles prevail. What use is a discovery to the scientists if they cannot include it in a bigger whole and order to draw right conclusions because they have a completely false picture of the creation universal consciousness? Since the following seven principles of all existence are, for the time being, only explained in the spiritual teaching, but are very important in the drawing of conclusions, they shall be named here. Spiritual Teaching, Spirit Lesson No. 127, Diceben Principi Nalar Existence The Seven Principles of All Existence, Seben Principi Nder Wahait Del Ebenzem Geistigen, Physician and Be West and Sind Gedjabin in Allar Existence Seven Principles of the Truth of Life in the Spiritual, Physical and Conscious are given in all existence. No Kodem Chuan Hanak. 1. The first principle is based in the existence of the all-embracing spirit of the creational, all-enlivening spirit, in that which is spiritual, physical and conscious, and thus in everything spiritual and material. God underscore delusion dot v1.2.doc15 slash 10 slash 11 and 721. God swan and God swan crankite. 2. The second principle is based on the equality and equal value of all things which are spiritual, physical and conscious, thus all things which are spiritual, as well as those which are material, exist in equality and in equal value. 3. The third principle is the all-universal and all-existential vibration of all forms of that which is spiritual, physical and conscious, and thus in everything spiritual and material. 4. The fourth principle is the bipolarity of all things and everything which exists, and thus the existence of opposite poles in all spiritual and material values and factors in its togetherness. 5. The fifth principle is the consonance of all things in the spiritual, physical and conscious, and thus in everything spiritual and material. 6. The sixth principle is the law of the connection of all occurrences and events which come about, so, therefore, in that which is spiritual, physical and conscious, and thus given in everything spiritual and material. 7. The seventh principle is that of the all-embracing evolution of all things of all existence in the spiritual, physical and conscious, and thus in everything spiritual and material. God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 8 21st. God swan and God swan crankite. 2. Who is Billy Edward Albert Meyer? Is he the announced prophet of the new time, the Messiah, respectively, Mahdi, as seen from the religious perspective? If you have already read books from Billy, above all, the crowning work, Kelchdra Wahait, Goblet of Truth, the book of the entire teaching of the prophets, Fig, was from Enzite Verlag, CH 8495 Schmidt then you know, that, Billy, Edward Albert Meyer is the seventh and final prophet of the Noko Demchun line. To this line belong the prophets Henoch, Elijah, Elijah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Josiah, Isaiah, Jmanuel and Mohammed, Muhammad Abdullah, and, in the present time, the prophet and proclaimer of the new time, Billy Edward Albert Meyer Beam. They all were, and are, bearers of the spirit form of Noko Demjan, the originator of the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life, the teaching of truth. The prophet of the new time was announced in many writings, as, for example, in Um Canon 31, Verse 27, And the prophet of truth is with you one last time, earth human beings, and therefore it is the same prophet who was with you before, therefore you can find him mentioned already in the writings of the four forebears of your elders, so in the epic of Urukgard and in the Apinus Hads, however, also in the inscriptions of Tutankhamun, in the old Torah and in the Quran, and in the Gospels and in other writings. Um Canon 31, verse 28 The prophet, who was your prophet, and who is also the prophet of the new time. He, human being of the earth, 
took our misery of suffering unto himself and true love, in order to teach you what is right and unright, so you can free yourselves from burdens and shackles, which burden you and weigh heavily on you. God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 9 21 God swan and God swan crankite. Um canon 33, verse 103. And so he will be his prophet of the new time, when the time of the time comes around, and when his name means that he is the guardian of the treasure. Note. Edward, at the time when the equitable ones have expunged their seven thousand fold guilt and will have taken the step for the fulfillment of the oath of the determination. Talmud Manual, Chapter 35, Cults Around Manual, Verse 41. It will be two times a thousand years before the time comes when my teaching will be preached anew, without being falsified. This will occur when false teachings and erroneous cults, when lies and cheating, and when deception by the conjurers of the dead and of spirits, by the soothsayers and clairvoyants, as well as by all the charlatans of the truth, will be at their peak. Hadith equals in Islam the term Hadith, communication, telling, report, stands for handed down news of a profane, as well as of a religious nature, German, Wikipedia. Ahmad ibn Hanbal is quoted as saying, The Prophet Muhammad said, Allah will bring out from concealment al-Mahdi from my lineage, and just before the day of judgment. Even if only one day were to remain in the life of the world, and he will spread on this earth justice and equity, and will eradicate tyranny and oppression. Trimidhi Hadrat Ali is quoted as saying, the Prophet Muhammad said, even if only a day remains for Qiyamah, the end of days, to come, Allah will surely send a man from my lineage who will fill this world with such justice and fairness, just as it initially was filled with oppression. Abudwood. Trimidhi Hadrat Abdul bin Mazud is quoted as saying, the Prophet Muhammad said, this world will not come to an end until one man, referring to Mahdi, comes from my progeny, who does not rule over the Arabs, and his name will be the same as my name. See Fix Under Bulletin No. 38. Quotes Who is the person mentioned in Islam? Including the original, 1967 certificate of the naming of Edward Albert Meyer as Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah. Below the Turkish translation of the certificate. New Testament, Bible. God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 10 21st. God swan and God swan crankite. Also in the Bible the, second coming of Jesus, correct named manual, is announced, as a believing Christian informed me, in Luke 21. 25-28 and Matthew 24, 29-31, among others. A second coming of Jesus is totally out of the question. Not only because the prophet at the time was called Jmanuel and not Jesus, but because it is absolutely impossible that the same personality can come into the world twice. Already it can be thereby recognized that the statements were falsified, because naturally, Jmanuel was best informed about the incarnation of the consciousness block, together with the reincarnating spirit form. See also. Weter Gebert, Leben, Sturban, Todd und Trauer, Reincarnation, Living, Dying, Death and Grief, in German only, and other texts and books relating to this. Figwas from Inzeit Verlag, CH 8495 Schmidrity. The believers of the respective religions unfortunately do not realize that Billy Edward Albert Meyer Beam is actually the truthful prophet of the new time, because their consciousness, violated by the many false teachings, is no longer in a position to recognize the truth and logic in the explanations. See also Goblet of Truth, the book of the entire teaching of the prophets. When all the many human beings who now live and who either take no notice of Billy Edward Albert Meyer or who mock him and accuse him of falseness, or who even attempt to murder him, actually realize, at a later point in time, who he really was, 
they will feel great pain, because the past does not repeat itself. What has passed, has passed irretrievably. The series of the great line of prophets ends with Billy Edward Albert Meyer Beam, and for the earth human being there will not be another time. 3. Purpose and Effect of the Nature of Human Life In Chapter 2 Billy writes, Contrary to the seemingly odd opinion of certain directions of atheism and of nihilism, that nature could not be assumed to have any purpose and effect, nature certainly does have a purpose and an effect, whereby the purpose is evolution and the effect is the obtaining of relative perfection. The sense and purpose of the human material earth life is evolution. That means in the development of the consciousness, and not, for example, in the piling up of money. Concerning the human being's overall determination, and not only that of the earth human being, that means concretely. God underscore delusion dot v1.2.doc15 slash 10 slash 11 and 1121. Got swan and got swan crankite. The human being's determination, laid out by the creation universal consciousness, consists of evolving his or her spirit form, by means of his or her consciousness, so high that it, the spirit form, can unite with the creation universal consciousness in distant coming ends in order to thereby perfect the creation universal consciousness itself, because even the creation universal consciousness is always only relatively perfect. The sense of life evidently appears to only be known by the students of the spiritual teaching, because how otherwise would the human being come to ruin, or throw away his or her life with drugs, alcohol, extreme types of sport and other excesses, with humility and canine submission, or even to prepare an end to his or her life with the help of a euthanasia organization, not knowing that it makes guilty not only him or herself, but also the one who assists the murder, instead of leading his or her life in complete self-responsibility, according to the creational laws and recommendations. 4. Help in recognizing the truth. Decalogue slash de Decalogue, verse 546. However, truth is constant, and unchangeable, for all great times, because it corresponds to the power of creation, which is, itself, the truth in the truth. The greatest errors of the believers and the most perfidious machinations of the distorters of the writings, compared with the teaching of truth, the teaching of life, the teaching of spirit. False teachings of the distorters of the writings, in contrast to the teaching of truth. False teaching is teaching of truth, teaching of life, teaching of spirit. Genesis of the Bible Creationism Creation's Genesis transmitted by the pure spiritual level of pedal. Ten Commandments of Christianity. Decalogue slash de Decalogue. Bible. A month alone or murado. Law of Creation. Talmud Manual. Goblet of Truth, the book of the entire teaching of the prophets. God underscore delusion dot v1.2.doc15 slash 10 slash 11 and 1221. Gotswan and Gotswan Crankite. Torah. A month alone or murado. Laws of creation. Goblet of truth. The book of the entire teaching of the prophets. Quran. A month alone or murado. Laws of creation. Goblet of truth. The book of the entire teaching of the prophets. Religious writings in general. Entire teaching of spirit. Teaching of life. Teaching of truth. Moses as falsifier of the commandments, in contrast to the twelve recommendations from Pedal. Recommendations 11 and 12 are absent from the Ten Commandments of Christianity. In the Decalogue slash the Decalogue the following is explained about this. 615. The person, too, also omitted the two remaining recommendations, which were passed to the person as once they were to Moses on Mount Sinai who, in exactly the same way, however, in selfishness and thirst for power, never ever revealed them. The Ten Commandments of Christianity The Twelve Recommendations of Pedal 3 To this refers to a person who, 
at the turn of the 20th century, had received a transmission of the recommendations, and freely falsified them, without conscience, to the point of being unrecognizable, according to the person's way of thinking, which was biased in a cult religious sense. Three explanation in Decalogue slash de Decalogue, was from Inzeit Verlag, Fig, CH 8495 Schmidt God underscore delusion dot v1.2.doc15 slash 10 slash 11 and 1321. God swan and God swan crankite. 1. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. 1. You shall have no mites and gods, tin gods and saints next to creation. 2. Do salts den name and gods nick verunaren. 2. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of your God. 2. You shall honor the name of creation and not misuse it. 3. Do salt den santig hylogen. 3. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. 3. You shall make every day a day of festivity and honor control it. 4. Honor your father and mother. 4. You shall not break your bond with creation, including this, you shall not commit adultery. 5. You shall not murder. 5. You shall honor creation just as you honor, esteem and love your father and mother. 6. You shall not commit adultery. 6. You shall not kill in degeneracy. 7. You shall not steal. 7. You shall not rob and expropriate. 8. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. 8. You shall not bear false witness against the truth, creation and life. 9. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. 9. You shall never and never speak an untruth. 10. You shall not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor. 10. You shall not greedily covet material riches and your next one's possessions. 11. Do not curse the truth. 12. Never and never put creation's recommendations and creation's laws into unworthy cults. The greatest error of the believer is the assumption that there is a God, Creator God or Tin God, and that this God, Creator God or Tin God, had a book written, so-called, holy books, Torah, Bible, Quran, etc., which contains the pure truth, takes care of the believer, assumes responsibility for the believer, determines the believer's fate, demands sacrifice, humility and subjugation, punishes the believer, for not meeting his demands, with purgatory and hell until the last day, rewards the believer, for deeds which conform to the will of God, with paradise, until the last day, demands the eradication of those who think differently, which even justifies a war, died on the cross, in order to free the believing Christians from their sins. The truth is, all religious documents are consciously carried out falsifications, or are falsifications which arose through lack of understanding. The Goblet of Truth, the book of the entire teaching of the Prophets, contains the correct teaching, namely, the teaching of truth, the teaching of life, the teaching of spirit. The human being, and everything else in the creation universal consciousness, is bound by its laws and recommendations, therefore in the vibration of its cause-effect evolution. The human being entirely bears full responsibility for him or herself and anything and everything. God underscore delusion dot v1.2.doc15 slash 10 slash 11 and 1521. God swan and God swan crankite. The human determines his or her own destiny through his or her thoughts, feelings and deeds. Sacrifice. Submissiveness and subjugation prevent the human being's evolution of consciousness. They hold this consciousness in the course of a rational realm equals pink slash violet.
Also see Decalog slash the Decalog, third recommendation. Hell is no place, rather it is a condition in the human being him or herself, in his or her mental block, which he or she forms him or herself by means of incorrect thoughts and feelings. Paradise is no place in the sky, rather it is a condition in the human being himself or herself, in his or her mental block which he himself or she herself forms by means of good and beautiful thoughts and feelings. Every human is free to nourish any thoughts and feelings he or she wishes. In each case he or she harvests the effect from this cause. No human has the right to do evil and unright to another human being, not to mention to murder him. The death penalty also being a form of murder. Manuel did not commit suicide on the cross, rather he only appeared to be dead. See Talmud Jmanuel. But it is totally illogical to think that someone could allow him or herself to be killed and thereby release someone else from his or her sins, respectively, undo his or her sins. The laws and recommendations of creation do not allow hocus pocus. Belief and knowledge, color radiations of the consciousness. Each of the countless levels of consciousness pertaining to a human consciousness radiates a color according to the given state of evolution. See following tables. The pink and violet belief vibrations belong to the lowest level, therefore to the primary development of the consciousness. According to statements from Billy, the majority of Earth humanity finds itself in the transition between 2. Violet and 3. Green. A fact about which nobody can be proud because that means that a great proportion of Earth humanity is closer to the human primates, insofar as rationality, intellect, knowledge, logic and wisdom are concerned, than that which a human can generally achieve with his or her consciousness, and also will do so, one fine day, after millions of years lived, again and again, each time as a new personality, but with the same spirit form. 7. Blue. We do not have the God delusion believers to think that the earth human has already surmounted the first steps at all. Instead, those who deserve the thanks are those who want to evolve their consciousness and make an effort to gain relative knowledge and relative wisdom, and live according to it. Of course, the pure earth human is still young. If, however, he or she had not had his or her consciousness deranging religions, he or she would, in spite of that, make enormous progress in regard to his or her consciousness. As an example, in regard to technology, the earth human is very much more developed than in regard to love, peace, freedom, harmony, health and joy, characteristics which would make him or her a real human being. God underscore delusion dot v1.2.doc15 slash 10 slash 11 and 1621. Got swan and got swan crankite. From the Pleiadian Plagiarian Contact Reports, Volume 2, 55th Contact. Color Radiation Values. Lowest Radiation Values. 1. Rosa 1. Pink 2. Violet 2. Violet 3. Grun 3. Green Glob Belief Glob Belief Concentration Concentration Vererong Veneration Vererong Veneration Wahung Dedication and Betung Worship and Betung Worship I Lung Healing Erong Error and Wafung Invocation Wahai Truth and Vernunf Rationality Barm Herzage Guide Benevolence Vernunf Trationality on Verst and Unintellect Metlide Pity Verst and Intellect False Height Falseness Zerst Erong Destruction Whistle Knowledge Luge Life False Height Falseness Why Shite Wisdom Vinich Tongue elimination when each tongue elimination crefent fell tongue unfolding of power must gunst resentment um wand lung transformation craft and wound dung use of power last or vice fry height freedom or canon recognition. Highest radiation value. 7. Blah 7. Blue wah height truth was knowledge why shite wisdom. God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot doc 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 17 21st. Got swan and got swan crankite. 
aircraft power Lee Bluff Air Force difference or lung in her fulfillment shuts protection matched my truck fungs will volition of creation creator and creation. As can be seen in the table, belief and assumptions. 1. Pink. 2. Violet. Stand in contrast to truth, knowledge and wisdom. 7. Blue. In relation to creation, therefore, the genesis of the Bible in contrast to the truth of the creation genesis, transmitted by the pure spiritual level of petal, equals the crown of creation, received and explained by Billy, was from Enzeit Verlag, ch. 8495 Schmidrity. Everything that science has discovered so far confirms not the genesis of the Bible, but the creation genesis. Even if the scientists up until now have only made a few really correct discoveries and often draw wrong conclusions as a consequence of the unknowledge of the principles of all existence and the cause-effect evolution mechanisms, they are, in spite of that, on the right path. Only their own belief in God or their arrogance prevent them from turning to the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life, the teaching of truth in order to gain more profound cognitions. Nowhere other than in the spiritual teaching are the facts explained with loyalty to the truth, by the prophet of the new time, such that anyone with a healthy consciousness can comprehend them and, from that, evolve his or her own consciousness. Rationality Intellect Consciousness Block the human being's material consciousness consists of uncountable forms of consciousness, respectively, levels of consciousness, as, for example, in the positive case, love, joy, correctness, mildness and behavior, perseverance, wisdom, purposefulness, consistency, courage, strength, magnanimity, respect, deference, assiduousness, fidelity, and peace, and so forth, or in the negative case, on peace, hatred, incorrectness, pride, selfishness, egoism, greed, laziness, lack of respect, inconsequence, foolishness, and knowledge, cruelty as well as impatience and many more of value. All of which not only have an God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot dot 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 18 21st. Got swan and got swan crankite. Unconscious form preceding them, instead, two of the most important evolutionary factors are their own, namely, rationality and intellect. In the spiritual teaching, spirit lesson, no. 122. Rationality, intellect, cognition, experience living experience, Billy writes the following. Rationality and intellect are a fundamental factor in the power inherent to the inner nature and structure of the spirit and the material consciousness given to the human being since the primal beginning of the human creation. Rationality and intellect also initiate the possibility of thinking, which, again, in each case, is naturally defined according to the evolutionary level of the material consciousness. According to the evolution of the consciousness the latent powers of rationality and intellect are slowly set free and evolve further, together with the consciousness. Rationality and intellect are a fundamental factor and a power, inherent to the inner nature and structure of the spirit and the material consciousness, given to the human being since the primal beginning of the human creation. The aforementioned therefore means that consciousness, rationality and intellect are, in correlation, dependent on each other, and they further each other, and indeed this starts with a perception in a spiritual form, and a physical form a conscious form, a thought-based form, a feeling-based form, an inspiration-based form, an action-based form and an a pure material objective form, and so forth. God underscore delusion dot v1 dot 2 dot dot 15 slash 10 slash 11 and 19 21st. God swan and God swan crankite. In the consciousness, as in the memory, and in the storage banks, Everything is organized according to the levels of consciousness. That means, for example, that everything which concerns love is stored among the love vibrations, 
that which belongs to joy is stored among the joy vibrations, that which belongs to incorrectness, among the incorrectness vibrations, and so forth. No chaos of any kind prevails, rather it is law and regulation, as with a database. All impulsation processors of the consciousness block, therefore also rationality and intellect, work in the same manner with all human beings, as long as no brain damage exists, however, they work more comprehensively or more restrictedly depending on the degree of general education, broad-sightedness, knowledge, experience and wisdom and the level of evolution associated with them. Each human being changes his thinking only through his own insight, and for that rationality and intellect and consciousness are necessary which, reciprocally rotating, develop, therefore evolve, towards relative wisdom, through perception, recognition, cognizance, cognition, knowledge, experience and the living experience of a thing. This applies to the immaterial realm of life as it does to the material realm of life. If, for example, wisdom is spoken of in regard to the immaterial realm, then, for the material realm, the value, perfection of ability, perfect ability, and so forth, is valid. If pressure is applied to a human being, he or she is persuaded. The human being will again be determined from outside instead of determining himself, and the evolution of the consciousness cannot consciously progress directed by him, rather it drips unconsciously onward. The creation universal consciousness requires no pressure, rather only the actions resulting from our own decision and will. That is also the reason why the ten, respectively, twelve, recommendations of the Decalogue slash the Decalogue Figuas from Inzeit Verlag, CH 8495 Schmidt are not mandatory but instead represent recommendations, which, however, the human is advised to follow if he wants to lead a life which is equitable for the human being. In conclusion to my introduction I present the last lines of the poem, Ein Sehr Kommissar which A Very Funny Wretch by Billy, written on the 19th of August 1978, from the book, 61 Jargadict, Spruik. Aphorisman Vaughn Billy Edward Albert Meyer, 1943 to 2004, 61 years of poems, sayings, aphorisms by Billy Edward Albert Meyer, 1943 to 2004, Figuas from Inzeit Verlag. God underscore delusion dot v one dot two dot doc fifteen slash ten slash eleven and twenty twenty first. Gotswan and Gotswan Crankite. The human being has, however, the real sense on earth, to become knowing, evolutive, harmonious and also loving. But he or she must manage with his or her own power and truth. He or she may never slacken in his or her striving and actions. He or she must recognize the laws of life and respect them. And never languish while reading religious writings. With these words many a believer sees read in red, but the truth is and remains that God is dead. And every God believer should take this truth as a prayer, because this guy in heaven has never lived. Translation by Vivian Legg, checked by Dyson Devine and Mariana Linger. Translator's Note, as with the translation of Kelchdra Warheit, this translation utilizes some word choices which have been determined by less than Billy greater than Edward Albert Meyer beam because many of the more conventional English word choices are less appropriate for conveying the true meanings of the German words as used by beam. God underscore delusion dot v one dot two dot doc fifteen slash ten slash eleven and twenty one twenty first.